is real moss, so all that other stuff is not. And if you look at it really cl closely, you see tiny, tiny little leaves. And moss is only ever that big because it doesn't have veins. So it's a non-vascular plant. It's one of the first ones that would have evolved from algae. So we, you know, algae, green algae is the ancestor of land plants. The most primitive kinds of land plants are the mosses. So they have to absorb all their water from the surface of their leaves. So once they then evolved veins in them, then they were able to get taller because they can move <coughs> the water from the ground up into the tree, up into the plant and back. So those are the most ancient ones. The next ones would be the ferns. So ferns are now vascular. They have veins, but they don't have seeds. So the next evolutionary step was to actually have seeds. And then um, the last evolutionary step is to have the seeds within a fruit. So you have flowers and fruit. Had spores like ferns. They, they have spores, yes. So they're, they're not seeds. A seed is something that has different layers on it yeah. and that'll, that'll um, gotcha. germinate. So spores, they form spores and the little brown dots you see on the bottom of ferns are also spores. So these are both not, right. these are both seedless plants. Those are seedless, non-vascular and seedless vascular. Well, some of the mosses, if you've seen pictures, grow like antennas. And the spores will be up on top yeah. of the flag. So the that's the um the, the you have little male and female plants and the, the the males release sperm, that sperm has to swim through water to get to the female plants, and the egg is contained at the top of the little plant, and then once the egg in the female is is fertilized, then the little plant a plant grows out of the other plant. So the two the male and the female have half the number of chromosomes, they're haploid. Once you get the egg fertilized and that little thing that comes out, that's the, the only diploid part. So that's a whole other generation. That's the sporophyte. So that's what produces the spores. The spores then goes through my meiosis and the spores are, are haploid again. And you get haploid little, little mosses. Cool.